Alright, so I decided that I'm going to make a leveling guide for Hayato because, you know, a lot of people ask where do you level, what's better, this map or this map, and stuff like that. So I'm sure a leveling guide could be of great benefit to the community. So I'm going to try my best. I compiled information from a bunch of different people and from my own knowledge as well to try and make a very good guide on levels 10 all the way up to 280 for Hayato based on um, how easy it is to mob in the map, how the effort it requires, and uh, the rates. And seeing that I've been playing Hayato forever and I made it all the way to 275, I think I have pretty good credibility into telling people where to train so another thing to mention is that this is a, not a video on how to play Hayato like you'll probably see me do some movement or some attack combos that you might not immediately recognize if you're not like a you know a seasoned Hayato main um, just know that I'll probably make a guide to the class itself eventually so yeah there's that but just just for the sake of this video we're just gonna go over what maps to go to and a basic rotation for each map to mob in so let's just start right away so right away when you're starting um, you're level 10 and you have only your first job skills and your beginner skills so for first job you have surging blade Shoryusen flash jump and level 1 Sun Enzon. So let's equip level 1 Sun Enzon. I have Surging Blade equipped. So right off the bat, um, you pretty much never want to use Shoryusen. And all you're going to be doing is Surging Blade and Sun Enzon and Flash Jump. So from level 10, um, well you're going to end up in the town. You want to get a Hyper Rock and you want to TP to Golem Temple 3. And once you're at Golem Temple 3, um, actually, before I explain that, I gotta explain how Hayato's Sun Rains on works. So this is the main mobbing skill you're gonna be using, up to 200. And it helps a lot in mobbing in the future too. So how Sun Rains on works is it's three attacks. You see in the description it says first hit, second hit, and third hit. Um, the first hit is just like that, you just tap it. And the second one has... Uh, you see it comes back towards you a little bit and then the third one is like a, a longer slash so you could just hold this skill down but if you're talking about in terms of efficiency for mobbing you want to double tap the skill so you only do the first and second hit this way you get more hits in for less time even though you know it might hurt your fingers that you're double tapping constantly instead of just holding it down it helps in training a lot actually so what you want to do in a map like this, you just want to jump around and double tap your sun rains on. And that's basically it. You want to keep doing this, you want to go up the ladders, try to get all the mobs. And you do this all the way up until you're level 23. So from level 23 to level 30, you want to go to the green tree trunk, which is over here. Cursed eyes. And there's someone here, so we'll CC. So, this map is pretty good too because Hayato's really good at uh, horizontal maps. We don't have the best vertical um, mobbing early game. Fifth job, we could pretty much go any map, but yeah, for now, you just want to keep using your sun reds on double tap. You could flash them all the way up here. So you could traverse this map really easily. Once you hit level 30, you'll get your second job advancement and you want to go to the Shaded Dump Site. So Shaded Dump Site in uh, Savage Terminal, the last map on the left. Now once your second job, um, you have Jin Sanrenzan, which is exactly the same as the level 1, except it's bigger. Bigger and does more damage. So now that you have um, Military Might and Katana Booster as well, it's going to help your double tapping a lot since this gives attack speed. 
and Sun Range on works with attack speed. It's really, really slow without it. Military Might will also give you some damage and uh, stats and stuff. Super, super important skills that you get in second drop are Vapor Blade, which is the up jump, and I'm gonna remove my pet loot, and Falcon Dive. So, Falcon Dive, you don't necessarily want to use it for mobbing, but you could chain it with Vapor Blade to go up platforms really well. So, typically, if I just Vapor Blade here, I'm not gonna reach the top, but if I were to Vapor Blade Falcon Dive, I'll reach the top. So, it helps a lot with mobbing. So, same thing as the other maps, you want to jump around. Now that you have um, Vapor Blade, you could go all the way to the top. You just want to make a circular rotation around the maps. This is typically what Hayatos do. You make a circular rotation and just just uh, double tap your sun rates on, on the mobs. Obviously, you're probably not going to be one-shotting like me, but just keep double tapping until the mob is dead. And keep going until you're level 48. Once you're level 48, you want to go to Wild Boar Land. So, granted, Wild Boar Land is a pretty good, is a pretty big map. You're not going to be like killing most of the mobs. Like, in the, oh shit, I'm kissing someone. Uh, you're not going to be killing the whole map like in previous maps. But the spawn rate here is so high that and the has a lot of flat platforms it's really really good for Hayato so yeah that guy looks safe okay so I'm just gonna hit especially up on the right side over here you could hit the top and bottom platforms and since you have falcon dive you could get to the top pretty much immediately so once you're level 55 you want to go to the Skella dogs at military camp 1 you don't want to go to these Skeletal Dogs, you want to go inside this secret map because this map is a lot more condensed and it has a portal. So you could just take this portal to the top, jump down, Sun Renzon, jump down, and keep going. And then back to the top. So this map's really good, especially if you get a Rune of Might here too. You could just keep jumping down and one shot at each platform and you'll hit really, level 60 really, really quickly. And once you're at level 60, you get your third job. And you'll want to go to Silent Swamp, which is the famous Drake's map. A lot of people go here, but it's just so good for Hayato since it's a bunch of flat maps. So for third job, you have Fu Sun Renzon, which is just an even bigger version of Sun Renzon. And it does even more damage. You have Sweeping Sword too, which honestly isn't that good. Uh, but you could still use it and whirlwind cut you pretty much don't want to use and Dunkusen is very very important because now we can actually start Zipping around the maps really really quickly with Dunkusen and surging blade So Dunkusen just is a dash and um, It's probably not gonna do a lot of damage when you guys are training, but you could chain Dunkusen and surging blade together to like dash a lot so in really long maps this is like huge huge mobility so yeah just like uh any other map you want to double tap your sun rents on and just kill all the platforms these middle ones you could hit the top and bottom and there's a portal in the middle that you could take to get back to the top or if you don't want to you could just falcon dive vapor blade or vapor blade falcon dive so, you know, the keen of you might have, um, you know, might have thought like, oh, why isn't he using Summer Rain? Because in the Hayato beginner tab, you have a skill that's called Summer Rain. That's every two minutes is basically just an FMA. It just kills the entire map. But I believe they changed it in the version 220 update that Summer Rain is a four chop skill for new Hayato. So I'm going to talk about it in the four chop. So once you're level, se you want to stay here until you're level 70. Once you're level 70, you want to go to Stairway of the Sky 1, which is in Orbis over here. So Stairway of the Sky is also really good because of how many mobs there is, there are, and um, how condensed they are. So there's a trampoline here that takes you to top, and it's the same story over and over again. You just double tap your sun rinse on, at each chunk of mobs and keep traveling around 
back to the top. So the thing with uh, Sweeping Sword, I said it wasn't that good, but um, it actually moves the mobs toward you, I believe. So if you want to clump the mobs all in one, like for me it one shot, so I can't really demonstrate it, but if you want to move all the mobs towards you, I believe it, it moves them towards you. Uh, same with Dankusen, it also pushes the mobs around. So there's that too. Um, so you want to stay here till you're level 80. And then from 80 to 95, or you could stay here uh, till level to uh, 100, you could go to Sahel 2. So Sahel 2 is like super good for Hayato because um, it's just one long flat map and literally nothing else. And that's pretty much best case scenario for Hayato early game is you just want a, a long flat map so you don't have to jump around or do anything you just double tap your sun rins on so you just jump around double tap sun rins on you could use dunku sen surging to travel around fast go to the other side of the map kill them like that and then just back and forth if you have kish or frenzy or whatever it'll be a lot faster so let's say sahel 2 is full in every channel you could also go to the Desert of Serenity, which is pretty much exactly the same map. It's just a long, flat map, and it's pretty much the same. I'm, I'm not answering him. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so you could stay here all the way till 100, but if you don't want to stay there till 100, the mobs that you feel like you want to change your pace, you could go to the Mossy Tree Hill. To, from 95 to 100, which is also a pretty good map. So this map, you just wanna, you know, double tap Sun Rins on, jump down, double tap Sun Rins on, and you could jump back, jump back up. So it's the same circular rotation that we've always uh, been doing for bigger maps. Uh, yeah, so once you hit 100, you wanna get your fourth job. And once you're at Forchov, you get Rai Sunrenzan, which is your strongest version of Sunrenzan. And you also get a bunch of other skills. So Shinsoku, this is a strictly bossing skill. Uh, you pretty much never want to use this, but you still want to keybind it because Shinsoku helps cancel your animations in between skills. Um, I'm not going to go into it now, but it's very important for Hayato's movement and canceling skills together. You also get Hitokiri Strike. Which is which does a lot of damage actually, and it gives you a crit rate buff, which will help your mobbing a lot. It'll give you a lot of damage since it gives you crit rate. And Hayato has very low crit rate in normal stance. So once you use Hitokari Strike, it's just diagonal. Does a lot of damage, gives you the crit rate buff, it'll be over here. Hitokari Strike will turn into Hitokiri Strike Angle, which you could use downwards every six seconds or you could use it upwards and it does a lot of damage so it's definitely worth using the skill in your rotation and it hits a lot of mobs you also get eye for an eye which is you know counter attack but i wouldn't recommend using it you get tornado blade which does a decent amount of damage and you could combo it with the skill sudden strike so tornado blade on its own will bring all the mobs towards you in the middle and sudden strike on its own just does a bunch of damage but you could use them together to do a lot of damage to a group of mobs. So you just use Tornado Blade first and then Sudden Strike and it'll do a lot of damage. So yeah, once you're at 100, you want to go to Zack. You know, you want to find a rune, you want to go to uh, end Zack and kill Zack. You want to get your offering, normal, chaos, whatever, normal Zack. Create a party, enter, uh, drop your eye of fire. So the thing with Zack is you want to kill the arms first. Make sure you target the arms. You'll get a bunch of levels by doing this, and then you kill the main body. And then you'll be probably around 105 to 106, or maybe even 107, just by killing Zack. So once you're at that point, you want to go to either two maps to level 120. So you want to go to the Toy Trojans. Oh, 
Why isn't it showing up? Alright, whatever. So Toy Georgians is over here. Sky Terrace. Five. And this map's pretty good because it usually has a hundred burning. And you know, it's the same thing. Just you hit the sun rays and hits the platforms. And you could dunk Usen surging to the other side. Kill these, dunk Usen surging. Go back. And uh, the other map you could also go to, to 120, is um, Zone 6. Where is it? I'm blind. Zone 5, Zone 6, yeah. These robos. So these robos, it's a very similar uh, layout than that where we're used to. You just jump, uh, center and on. It hits the top and bottom platforms. And you could use Surging and uh, Dankusen to go faster across the map. So you want to stay in these maps until you're 120. And then once you're at 120, you want to go to Unbalanced Time. So you want to click on the click here, go to Warp the pa warp the Path of Time 3. And then this portal on the top right is where you want to go. So it is a Star Force map. I'd recommend you definitely Star Force your gear to at least 26 stars. It shouldn't be too hard. And for this map, it's just going down. So you're going to want to use your Hitigiri Strike as often as you can. And uh, Sun Renzon. So it's just Hitigiri Strike, Sun Renzon. You could also Tornado Blade and um, um, Tornado Blade and Sun Strike together. So you also uh, notice that I can use Vapor Blade and Sun Re and uh, Hitigiri Strike diagonal together. So it's definitely really good for vertical maps that um, you can traverse with those two skills very easily. So once you're at um, 130, you want to go to Cave of Trials 3 all the way to 140, which is also a Star Force map, but it's really, really good uh, rates. So for the Cave of Trial, uh, let, let's start on the left side. There's a hidden portal here that takes you to the right and takes you back. So it's just killing, uh, killing each, um, like, packet of mobs so there's like a bunch here and you want to keep going keep going all the way until you're on the other side and then once you're on the other side you want to go back you can use your Hitigiri strike um, you know diagonal it hit, it'll hit both platforms and summer rain pretty much off cooldown and then once you're at 140 um, you want to go to the electronic store in Kerning City, level uh, 5, I believe, or 3. Um, it's the basement, electronic store 3. So it's the same old story, just want to make a circular rotation. But these mobs, Sun Renzon hits the top and bottom platforms. You could use Heat Degree Strike to go up, and you could use Heat Degree Strike to go down the platforms too. And Vapor Blade, Falcon Dive, just to go back up. So you want to stay here all the way till 150. Once you're at 150, you want to go to the second floor and Cafe 4, which is also a Star Forcing map. So at, definitely at this point, you'd want to have your Penciliers that you farmed from uh, mobs and Star Force them all to 10 stars. You know, get your 3% strength on each equip so you can start training in more Star Force maps and make better rates and you'll be stronger. And you know, you could use Heat Degree Strike, Heat Degree Diagonal. Uh, you could use Sweeping Blade if you really want to. There's a lot of skills you could use on Hayato to mix it up. But yeah, all you really need is the basics. Just jumping around, Sun Renzon, Heat Degree Strike, and Summer Rain whenever you can. Um, so once you're at 150, you want to go to. Oh no, no, no. You want to stay in this map till you're 165, actually. So you're going to be here for a little while, and then once you're at 165, you want to go to Boswell Field 2. Which is a really good map for Hayato, actually. Because once you're at 60, 165, well technically at 160 you get the hyper skill um, 
Falcon's honor, which is super huge for Hayato. So once you're at 160, you get Falcon's honor, which is basically an FMA every eight seconds, like literally. So Falcon's honor, this is you want to use it off cooldown. It can hit all the platforms and kills almost every mob in the map. So you just want to, you know, sun rends on, clean up the stragglers, mobs respawn, Falcon's honor again. And you just keep continuing doing that. Use whatever you can. You could use Summer Rain when it's up, but Falcon Honor is your best friend at this point. It's like one of your biggest mobbing skills now. So once you're at 170, you want to go to Corrupted Magic Forest 1, which is in Critias over here. And this map is pretty good because, you know, the layout's good. There's a high mob count. Falcon's Honor reaches very, very far up. So you just want to jump around, Sun Ren Sun, Danku Sen, you know, use your movement skills and all that stuff to traverse the map and yeah. So once you're 175, you want to go to Corrupted Magic Forest 2, which is not even better than this one. You want to stay here all the way till 180. Falcon's Honor will hit the whole, the whole area. You know, you want to Hitakiri Strike, Hitakiri Strike all the way to the top can use Falcon Honor again. It pretty much clears most of the map just on its own. You you obviously might not, might not one shot, but yeah, it's very important to fund your Hayato early game because from zero to 200 is not that strong of a class, but the mobbing capabilities are really good still. So once you're at 180, you wanna go to Dingy's Brawl and Bash Club of uh, three. So you could just search Dingy and then the third one, which is over here in uh, Savage Terminal. Um, so this map, um, it's really good. You could turn Renzon, hit most of the ma most of the mobs. Falcon Honor will hit all the ones at the top for you. And so will Summer Rain. So you just want to dash around. You could jump up, kill them. Dash to the other side, Falcon's Honor. You know, it's the same old rotation. Just going from side to side and double tapping Sun Ren Sun. And using Falcon Honor or Summon Rain, Summer Rain when it's off cooldown. So you wanna stay here all the way to your 190 and then from 190 to 200, there's two maps you can go to, whichever you prefer. There's um, Fox Tree Top Path, which I personally like going to. Um, you know, Falcon's Honor hits all three platforms and you could just uh, vapor blade up here, jump, and you know, so your sun runs on hits two platforms. Okay, you know, heat degree strike, heat degree diagonal up there. You know, you could you could do a lot of things. You just just gotta mess around with the skills. Um, from 190 to 200, you could also go to Fez 2, which is a super super popular map. But you know, it's popular for a reason and. Hayato is very good in this map as well because you can hit both platforms and you could also jump up and hit the top ones. You know, hit to carry back down, Falcon's Honor and Summer, Summer Rain. You could cancel Summer Rain by using Falcon Honor before it. So like Summer Rain or Falcon's Honor then Summer Rain and I could still move around and I killed the whole map. So yeah, so once you're at 200, this is when Hayato, the class, completely changes. All of a sudden, you're doing a lot more damage, and your mobbing capabilities are way, way better than they ever were. So, once you're 200, the the main things you want to focus on are your fifth job skills, particularly Phantom Blade. This is your best friend. This is your Hayato's bread and butter, Phantom Blade. Uh, Ultimate Will, aka Susano, uh, Sengoku Force, and Instant Slice. These are the best mobbing skills. Some of the best in the whole game, to be honest with you. Uh, even Basajutsu Zanko is really good. So you're only going to have four slots, so I would recommend, you know, Yaijutsu Phantom Blade, um, Instant Slice, HS, and um, probably Sengoku Force. So... Or... Uh, uh, Susano, one of the two. But you know, as you get more slots, you want to put in more of your V skills. And for the uh, boost skill uh, trios, 
Uh, for mobbing, all you really need to boost is Falcon's Honor and San Ren's on. And yeah, you'll be covered. So, from 200 to 205, you only really want to stay in VJ to 205 because Reverse City is just so much better. Um, you could technically train in VJ all the way to 210 at like Beneath, uh, beneath, uh, beneath the Cave or Eastern Cave Path 2. But, you know, I would recommend just staying here till 205. And since you're not going to have that much Arcane Force, you could just go to Raging Gerda's. So once you want, once you, um, once your 5th drop, you want to start using your 5th drop skills. It's not just Sun Renzon and Falcon's Honor anymore. You want to use Phantom Blade and, you know, I'm not going to go into detail of how Phantom Blade works exactly, but you want to stay at 5 stacks uh, for as long as you can. So get yourself to 5 stacks, it'll give you a huge amount of final damage, you do a lot more damage. And then, you know, you could still use Falcon's Honor, uh, Heat Degree Strike, you know, you have Instant Slice now, which is another full map attack, very short cooldown. Um, you know, you have your Sengoku Force, they're just basically two turrets that follow you around and just do a bunch of damage, they give you buffs. Um, you have Batajutu Zanko, another FMA, and it gives you energy back so you could use Phantom Blade even more. And, um, you know, you have uh, Ultimate Will, or Susano, I'm going to call it, which is just a big giant summon that clears like half the map for you. So it's the same thing, you just want to go in a rotation around the entire map and just spam your skills to be honest. Just make sure you're not losing your Phantom Blade stacks and you manage your energy properly. So once you're 205 you want to get to Reverse City and in Reverse City you want to go to the Hidden Research Train which is a super super good map. The, the mobs are really compact, um, the rates are really good and you could kill everything with Phantom Blade pretty much. Like Phantom Blade hits all three platforms at once. So you just want to Phantom Blade both sides. If you don't have energy, you know, you could use uh, Instant Slice, you could use Falcon's Honor, you know, Dunku Sen Surging to travel the map faster. You could use, um, you know, Ultimate Will on one side just to, um, you know, keep that clear so you could just stand still on another side. So, you know, Phantom Blade, Dash, Instant Slice, and the whole map's gone. So you want to stay here all the way until you're 215. So technically, you could stay here until 210, and then if you prefer, you could train at Choo Choo. And if you were to train at Choo Choo, I would recommend staying at Bitty Bobble Forest 2 all the way to, um, oh, not 2. Uh, Baby Bobble Forest 1 all the way to level 220 or, or to be honest you'd want to go to Yum Yum so you'd want to stay here till 215 so this map is super easy Phantom Blade ki kills an entire side Instant Slice another side um, Falcon's Honor Phantom Blade again it's just rotating these two FMAs basically or three FMAs so um, how Hayato works is you have three short FMAs AKA um, Falcon's Honor, uh, Phantom Blade, and Instant Slice. Those are your three FMAs that have a very, very short cooldown. And these are like what you're pretty much going to use for mobbing and everything. And then San Renzon is just clean up. And then uh, Zanko, uh, Ultimate Will, Sengoku Force, and Sudden Strike are like your longer cooldown FMAs or skills that give you a lot of uh, mobbing, but they have a longer cooldown. So you want to use those, like, you know, whenever you can or whenever you need to. But most of, most of the time you could just get away with, uh, you know, Falcon's Honor, Instant Slice, and uh, Phantom Blade. So once you're 215 or 220, I would prefer 215 and you go to Yum Yum Island. You want to go to the Hidden Iliard Field and you can stay here from 215 all the way straight up to 230. Because this map is so insane. Like, I've trained a bunch of characters to 230 here. And, um, you know, the rates are really good, the layout is really good, Phantom Blade literally hits everything, hits all the platforms, and you could literally just stand here, just stand in the middle, Falcon's Honor one side, you could even uh, Susano on another side so you don't have to dash to the other side, and just like, instant slice, whenever the mob drops, instant slice, um, you know, Phantom Blade, Falcon's Honor, and just keep doing this all the way till you're 230. If you prefer to go to Latch at 220, 
um, you know, you could go to Revelation Place 3 to train at, which is also a really, really good map. Somebody here. It's, it's the same old story with Rev 3 as well. It's just a very horizontal map that Phantom Blade could just shred through. Oh my god, everybody's online. Oh my god. Yeah, so Phantom Blade goes, goes uh, hits all the platforms, instant slice the other side. You know, it's the same old story. You just want to rotate your three short cooldown FMAs. Phantom Blade, Falcon Honor, and Instant Slice. So if Rev 3 is full, you could also go to Weakened Dream Keepers at Occupy Dance Floor 1, which is also a really, really good map because, you know, Phantom Blade still hits pretty much everything. You know, you, want, you, want, you could hit, use your Zonko, get some energy back. Um, Phantom Blade... Phantom Blade still hits hits these top mobs all the way up here and the bottom mobs, so you could just dash around Phantom Blade, Instant Slice, same thing, hits the top and bottom, Falcon's Honor hits the top and bottom, these FMAs are cracked out. Um, so from 225 to 235, instead of staying at the Iliard Field to 230, and you want to go to Arcana right away, you could go to the Forest of Earth if you have enough Arcane Force, obviously. And Earth Spirits is also a really good layout. It's the same It's the same thing if you haven't noticed by now. Hayato loves the horizontal maps. Just Phantom Blade each side. And Instant Slice, whatever you want. Falcon's Honor, another side. And yeah. Uh, you could stay here all the way up to 235 if you really want. And um, so let's say you know you're you're level 230, you want to uh, train in like Moras or something. Psych, you don't go to Moras. Don't go to Moras to train. It's actually dog shit every single map. Um, you know, some people are argue like, oh, shadows aren't that bad. Um, Bully Boulevard 2 isn't that bad. No, like our kind of maps are just way better. They're the way to go all the way to 250. So once you're 230 or 235, you have enough arcane force to start one shot in these cavern maps. You want to go to CLP. JK, you don't go to CLP. You go to LP1. Never go to CLP. It's actually the worst fucking map in the game. Like, unironically. So, LP1. Um, definitely, this is like a, you know, another horizontal map. You want to just jump side to side. If you have a Lucid Soul, you could place down Lucid Soul. Actually, I should do that. I'll place down uh, Lucid Soul. I'll switch to my uh, Lucid Weapon so I could show you guys Lucid Soul. And I could swap. So I am not walking around with an absolute thing. Um, you want you know you want to equip your lucid soul. Hayato is very special because since Phantom Blade is a buff that gives us final damage, the final damage actually works on the lucid soul. So we're the only non-mage class in the game that could one-shot lucid soul very very easily. So you could just lucid soul one side. Um, you could, you know, got a blades on the other side, and then just spam your FMAs, and the map is like on auto kill mode. So, you know, you could go to LP1, and then once you're getting a little bit stronger, you know, 240 or higher, I would recommend going from LP1 to D Cup 1, which is where I personally trained all the way to 250, because D Cup 1, uh, there's a lot more mobs here. Phantom Blade hits the top and bottom, you know, you could dash, dash around really quickly, all the way across the map. Or you could just jump down, you know. Jump, you could jump down, instant slice. Oops. Phantom Blade. You know, the same old, same old. Rotation of the three low cooldown FMAs. You could uh, Lucid Soul one side, it'll hit the top and the bottom. And um, yeah, so you want you could stay here all the way to 250. If, you know, for some reason you don't want to go to either of those maps, you want a more condensed map, you could go to regular D Cup, which is a lot more condensed. You could just dash, you know, side to side, use your FMAs, use your summons, whatever you got. As long as you're clearing the map 100% of the time, you're doing good for high toe training. So, you know, um, once you're 250, 
you can start going and um, you know you could, uh, what am I saying? You could stay here all the way to 250, or you could stop at level 240, and you know you could start training at Celis. So once you're at Celis, you could go to um, Star Swallowing C1, which is a pretty decent map because it's um, you know there's somebody here. Of course there's somebody here. Why wouldn't somebody be here? Um, it's the same old, same old. You know, Phantom Blade, Falcon Honor. They all hit the. They hit all three platforms. And you just want to rotate the skills. Um, and just run around. The looting is pretty easy. You just jump up, you know, loot, jump down, loot, jump down, loot again, and then start over. Um, you can also go to Star Swallowing C4, which I personally recommend, all the way to 250. You want to go to. I would personally recommend staying in Arcana, although it's 240, and then once you have enough Arcane Force, and if you could one-shot here, I would go to these maps, or even until 245, I would go to these maps. Um, so, once you're level 250, or 245, um, you could start training at either Void Current 3, or a couple other maps in Moonbridge. So, Void Current 3, super, super popular map, because... I'm not even gonna bother CCing, I know this map's like always full. Um, it's the same thing as all the other maps, it's just a big horizontal map that Phantom Blade could hit pretty much all the platforms and Falcon Honor and your, all your other FMAs. So another good map uh, is LH2 for Hayato because of the layout, so you know. Phantom Blade hits all the platforms. Uh, Falcon Honor hits all the platforms. Instant Slice hits all the platforms. The looting is the looting is really easy. It's just three long platforms. You just run around. You could jump up. Um, yeah. So the last map I would recommend in uh, Moonbridge would be actually no no no. These are the two maps I would only recommend in Moonbridge. I was thinking MF5, but no not this map. Um, for lab, if you want to, if you really, no, for some reason you're, you don't want to stay here all the way to 255, you could go to lab at 250 and train at deep core 3, all the way to 255. Oh, wow, I, mean, I am memory leaking, so, the rotation for, uh, deep core 3 is, you know, you want to lucid soul here, and... You know, you want to start dashing this way, jump up. There's a portal here, I believe, which takes you to the top. Phantom Blade, heat carry diagonal downwards. Instant slice. Take the portal. Phantom Blade, heat carry downwards. Falcon's on here. Instant slice. You know, just rotating those same skills over and over. Dude, this is a crazy memory leak. I hope I can make it in time. Um, so once you're at 255, you want to go to, you know, good old 1-4, end of the world 1-4. Oh my god, it crashed. Alright, well, you know how the game is, you crash, so <laughs> we're back. And um, so yeah, once you're at 255, you want to go to good old Lamina, end of the world 1-4. And this map is absolutely crazy. Um, I trained here personally all the way to 275, but since there's, you know, there's new areas, there's better maps and stuff now, I would recommend staying here at least to 265. So, for um, end of the world, 1-4, the rotation is super simple. You want to just lucid soul the right side, and just stand here, and just instant slice and falcons on here, so... Phantom Blade, the left side, instant slice, whatever you gotta do, and you just stay here the whole time. Whenever you want to loot, you just place down uh, God of Blades, run around, loot, this platform, next platform, you know, the middle, and here. And then you just continue rotation back uh, over here in the middle. So, alternatively, you could go to 2-3. And um, in 2-3 you want to... The rotation is a little bit different, but the map is really good too. So I would recommend, um, you know, you could just Phantom Blade left and right side. Over and over. 
And whenever your Lucid Soul is up, you could just uh, Lucid Soul the top left here, and it'll hit everything, so. Because 1-4 is a really populated map, and you're probably going to have to resort to other maps. But since Hayato's mobbing is so good, you could train in like so many different maps. But yeah, you know, 1-4 is the laziest one. So once you're at, you know, let's say 265, uh, you want to start looking for, uh, you want to start looking to train at um, the new area, so Cernium. So in Cernium, there's a bunch of different maps. I personally like going from two, you could uh, train at library section four because it's the same thing as all the other maps, you know, it's super lazy, uh, Phantom Blade hits an entire side, you know, instant slice on the entire other side. And, you know, it's the same thing as like 1-4, you just one side, the other side, boom, map's gone. So, same thing with uh, Library 1. But, I believe Library 1 is a little bit smaller, so yeah. Wow, this is so loud. Uh, the thing about Library 1 is Phantom Blade actually doesn't hit the bottom mobs. So, it's a little worse, but you know, uh, Susanoa hit everything. And you can just yeah, you can just chill. Um, so also you could go to Eastern Ramparts one, which isn't too bad either. Oh, somebody here. So Eastern Ramparts one, you know, Phantom Blade will hit everything. It'll hit all three platforms. So you could just stand in the middle. Um, you know, if either map is full, whichever one you prefer, the rates are very similar, so whichever one has higher burning, I guess. And it's pretty much the same uh, layout and looting and everything. So I would stay in Trinium, honestly, all the way to 270 at least, but I would recommend pushing to 275 in Cernium. And if you really, really want, you could go to Burning Cernium in Library Section 1 and Section 4. I tried out other maps, but I wasn't really comfortable with them. They're either really, really sweaty, or um, I just uh, the mobbing capabilities just weren't there yet. So, you know, these mobs are super, super tanky. You don't have enough hot melting force. Um, and Phantom Blade doesn't even hit all three platforms, but the rates are better here because, you know, they're obviously higher level. So you could also go to Library 4, where, um, you know, it's the same circular rotation that we've been getting used to. You just make, make your circle, pop your summons, and go all the way around. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, when Hotel Arcus comes out, I'm sure there'll be new rotations. I'll update everything to, you know, include Hotel Arcus. But, you know, all that stuff is going to be in a really long time from now because of the Sacred Power Gate and the dailies that we have to do to train efficiently at those maps. And yeah, so I would recommend staying all the way up to 275 in Cernium. And if you really want to push to 280, you could go in those Burning Cernium maps. So I hope this guide helps and you at least learn something. Um, you know, obviously things are subject to change. Not everything is always good. And um, yeah, I hope it helped. And I'll see you guys next time.